Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, welcome back to Mother One. I have gotten a lot of requests to go back and check out this trash can. And seeing as how I have the uh, Trash Master Medal in Pokemon, it only makes sense that I would want to get it in this game too, I guess. So, well, I checked it before, it was just a question mark, so do I need to just, like, talk to it? Who are you talking to? No, no, not this time. I am Poulter's father. I think NCS's dad asked. But you told him your name? Nope. Let me register your name once more. Okay. And then baddies and stuff roam once more. I'm just gonna put my real name for this. Because I don't do that enough, you know? I'm always calling myself NCS and shit like that. And it's just like, dude, let's just... Let's just be ourselves for a change, you know? And by be myself, I mean... Timothy Bishop here and... Oh, oh, Yes. That is spelled correctly. Yes, it is. That's fine. Great. Please look after Pulsar. Okay, I'm not surprised that's in this game, too. It's actually in just... I think it's in all three of the games, actually. I don't remember what they do with it in Mother 3, if they do, but yeah. So, um, we gotta get back to the mountain. That's a bit of a trek, so I'm just going to meet you there. See ya. Well, we're gonna go. Let's go. Crap. We just made it- made, we just landed in Florida. That's no good. Okay, I'm back, and as you may notice, well, you're not gonna be able to notice unless I show you, but I've leveled up a little bit. I feel like maybe I need to for this place, but who are you talking to? But, no, I heard Luca say that in one of her videos. I don't know if it was a reference to, to, to the Truman Show, or to me, but either way, so we're heading for the lake, but first... Oh, Megaborg. Well, you know what? It's a good thing we have this, because good lord, is this ever a powerful spell. I remember hearing that, like, Freeze Gamma was broken. But man, PK Beam Gamma's even worse. Let me tell you. Or even better, depending on how you look at it. In this case, it's way better. Just about everything... Oh, well, <laughs> you know, I say just about everything, but there are times when maybe... It might just not be the best thing in the world. That's okay, though. I think we might actually beat him before it even gets to... Well, the thing is, though, well, the freeze will do the job. And now that she's faster than Lloyd is, she can actually do that, and then he gets the finishing blow, and it's all perfect. It just works out really well. Saves time! <laughs> anyway, oh my god. Okay, uh, PSI, let's stay healed here. Don't want to stop staying healed, because we need that to be good. We need to be good for this. We need to be fresh. Mm. Oh god, what is that? What is that? It's like a giant pile of shit. It's the great mighty poo, man. Oh god, no. Just no. Well, PK Beam works on the other ones, so I'm gonna try that on these ones, but man, I gotta tell you. Oh, I also have flamethrowers. Maybe I should be using those. Keep forgetting, man. You know, keep getting not involved anymore. Anyway. Hey, no effect on Pulsar. Hell yeah, dude. Way to avoid that attack, whatever that was. Man, these guys suck at using magic. Yeah, get out of here. Ted, get that, get flushed on. Let me tell you. Well, I hate using the flamethrower on a single enemy, but now yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. What you gotta do. Okay, well, uh, oh man, it's the lake. Oh, I love lakes, man. Let's check it out. There's a boat. The boat motor appears to be broken. But Pulsar fired it right up. Ha! <laughs> well, I guess you're good for something. In the words of Falco, well, okay. There's... Are there encounters out here? I'm gonna find out. So here's the thing. Like, the walkthrough said to go around this way? But I looked at the map, and it's like you could just go up the right side, so I'm not sure why you wouldn't just do that. But yeah, I don't mean to keep using resources so much, but... You know, I figure if there's any time you ever want to, it's probably now. You know, just to be sure of everything. But still, though, even a walkthrough is not going to tell you exactly everything you need to know. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> Holy crap. We just got sucked into the hatch from Lost on here. And now we have a Red Cross elevator. Yep. Can you heal me as we ride down? Or is it going to be like the Chrono Trigger elevator where we have encounters on the way down? I haven't seen, like, an equivalent of that in Sea of Stars yet, which is weird. Because I've seen equivalents to just about everything else in that game, I tell you. Not that I'm complaining. Oh gosh, I didn't bring up a map for this place, though. So we're just gonna have to hoof it. Are there encounters in here? Maybe not. 
I mean, I wouldn't complain. Certainly wouldn't. Jeez, this place is like abandoned or something. Maybe it's the Dr. Andonut's lab. Maybe there's like theory videos about that. Look at the fish, look at the fish. Why did I say look at the fish two times? I have no idea. You know, it's like next bite, next bite. Did I ever tell that story? Good lord. Hey, wait, they're red now. Maybe they're getting more dangerous? I don't know. Man, this looks like something out of Metroid here, man, I tell you. I mean, to be fair, that other lab that we went through didn't really look that different. Okay, we have red and blue now. So it's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Is that a reference? I think it might be. Uh-oh, two ways to go. I'm gonna go this way. And that's a dead end. Unless there's something in the wall. No problem. Oh man. I should have done the who are you talking to thing again, but we already had one who are you talking to in this video. We don't need another one. It's just fine. I wonder how hard it is to climb a ladder. Like seriously, in real life. I mean, it's probably like climbing stairs, you know, but... But when I see, like, Link, you know, pushing his way up those cliff sides, and then I'm like, oh, there's a ladder, that seems so much easier by comparison. Who are you talking to? Shit, I did it again. Goods? I don't want goods, I want to check. Feeling my presence, the robot came back to life. My name is Eve. I have been waiting for you. My creator was, uh, George. Oh. George, as in 80 years ago, George? He was taken to the end of the universe. Where is the creator? What's he saying? Then brought back later. I am here to protect you. That is my purpose. All right, then. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Just blow us right back out of there. Oh, man, it's like Dungeon Man. Hey, totally. Oh, this is rad. Oh, man. So I have been told by numerous sources, including you-know-who, should not go back to the heal spot after this. Because, like, just don't do it. I don't know what would happen if you did do it, but I'm not gonna go find out, I'll tell you that. Um, fight? Fight? Kitchen? Kitchen, yeah! It's just two pieces of shit again, why am I even leaving this in? I don't know. Should've used the flamethrower there. What?! Whoa. Did I see that right? Did I even read that right? It said that did 1,058 damage. 1,000! Should I just guard? Let's just guard. Oh, and she always goes first, too. I don't know why I'm saying she. It's called Eve, so, you know. Like the wife in Face Off. Her name is Eve, too. But if I can just off enemies with one hit like that, like, why wouldn't I just do that, man? Wonder how they would do against, like, higher defense enemies. Probably about the same. Maybe she just ignores defense, I don't know. So it's 882. There's something about the number 882, I can't... Ugh. I remember in church, there was a certain proverb we always used to read, and it was on page 881. So that number became sort of important to me for... Maybe not all the right reasons, but... Whatever. Wow, this is so cool. This is so goddamn cool, what the fuck? That was pretty good timing with that encounter there. Ah, more pieces of poop. Yes. Yes, queen. I'm just gonna keep guarding. Oh, Eve with a smash? Let's see. Let's see. 1,098. I was hoping for 2,000, but, you know. You can't... Oh, if wishes were fishes, you know. Suffer damage of 16. Huh. That doesn't seem to do as much when you're guarding. Oh, Eve suffered damage too. Shoot. Be careful now. Yeah, maybe I should have just went on and attacked there. Or I could just go to auto too. I could do that. Man, two smashes in a row? You gotta be kidding me. You win! So look at this, man. We are just killing it here. <laughs> you could almost practically grind with this, like, really. Oh, three of you, huh? Well, you know, in that case, maybe I will actually... Maybe just throw a little bit of myself into this, too. That is assuming E doesn't attack number C. Number C. Yes, number C. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know why I'm talking over this. It's just piles of doo-doo, you know? Like, seriously, how do you see anything else other than that? It's like doo-doo tentacles. I was gonna talk in, like, detail about the dump that I took before this video, but I decided not to. Because 
no, I don't know, you just... <laughs> like, I know that's my whole thing and everything, but there's a certain line that you just kind of don't want to cross sometimes. So yeah, I think I'll just leave that, leave that be. I don't know, though. Then again, since when have I ever been conscious about that before? Like, pretty much never. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, y'all just guard, except for the beam. Man, I can't believe how much damage that is doing. That is crazy. So, like, I wonder, could you have come up here without the robot? Maybe you just could have skipped the lab entirely and just go up yourself? Would it have been possible, I wonder? I'm worried about how much HP that robot has. Like, I kind of, like I said it before, I kind of already know what happens here, and it's going to be sucky, too, if it does. Or when it does, if that's the case. Oh, well, I guess we have to do it, so... Yeah, I notice now I have a life up bleh, too. But I might as well use it myself, rather than use up her PP. So I need her PP for the other thing. You know, the other thing. I'm not gonna say what it is. Oh, man, we got some tumbleweeds here, we got a rope. Wait a minute, can a robot climb a rope? Up, oh, can't move there for some reason. Yeah, apparently they can. Very nice. There's nothing up here, though. Maybe there's like a super secret grinding spot. Those stumps always throw me off. Like, you can't walk through them, so you get to the top of the rope, and it's like, oh shit, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here? I can't be stuck here, I got a life! Alright, you guard, you... Ba -ba -ba -ba. This has just become a habit at this point. Like, I almost feel bad, because I don't want to... Like, somebody mentioned something about this, and well, actually it was Palter of all people said, like, that a lot of the walkthroughs of this game just kind of tell you the easy way out rather than explaining what everything does and encouraging you to find out for yourself. And the, the comparison he made was, like, if you made a walkthrough of Super Mario Bros. 1 and just told people, well, you know, this is an old game, so it sucks, so just take the warp zones, you know? And then be done with it, but, uh... Should I attack the wrong one? Or did you attack the wrong one? I don't actually know. Doesn't matter because I got a smash! And that didn't even work. Oh no. Why was I attacking anyway? Jeez. Yeah, that's gonna go nowhere. Yeah. At least I was attacking with you too. Okay, good. Good stuff. Oh, having a fourth party member is great. Who needs Teddy when you got this mofo? Let me tell you. Oh, there's another rope. It's also a very tall robot, I've noticed. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you take care of this. This is just free experience for the Taken here, man. So I notice you actually get better experience from the stuff out east of LA. Like, the regular Starman, the green mooks. You get like 200 experience per fight out there. So that's where I actually did the grinding for this. And I'm like, well, shit, man. I don't know. Let's see what you can do to this guy. Mmm. Just one shot, man. This is how they get to, though, you know, they get you all attached by saying, hey, look what this person can do, look what this thing can do. You're gonna love this thing. And then you're gonna lose it. I almost feel bad. <laughs> like, I shouldn't know this stuff. Last Starman? Oh, there are four of these. There are four of these. How much do you want to bet they're strong to beam? Oh, <laughs> I have to try, though. Otherwise, as far as that goes, I have Thunder Gamma. With this multi-target, let's try it. Let's just play around, you know? We'll do the same thing over and over again. It's like, why are you doing the same thing over and over again? Do I have anything that heals? I should have... Ah, uh, I should have gotten some of those life up creams that that guy gives them to you for free. Let me just guard for a minute here. Okay, this is... that's good. It's one less. One less! <laughs> yeah, if you just attack, I'd be just fine with that. I really should have healed Anna. It's not gonna be good. Wow, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not good. Man, but I, like, can't go back, though. So, yeah, boy, oi, oi. wonder if I should run from this. I actually do wonder now, um... Why didn't I use the flamethrower with him? I'm such a jackass. Such a jackass! Let me at least heal you up. And then have you do this. That's what it's there for. Man, 901, though, baby. It's one less attack each time. Haha, <laughs> you are- man, how in the world? You can't hit that giant-ass thing? Man, I tell you. 90 and 96. Not too shabby. Just gonna guard with you and goods with you. Mmm, 
947 juicy. That was all. That was not just 947. That was 947 plus whatever the flamethrower did. It's not even that much more pain. Hell yeah. Mmm, very nice. We didn't have to use Eve on all of them. We took care of some of that ourselves. Jeez, I'm worried now. <laughs> uh, okay, let me just make sure everybody's healed here. Gotta do that. That's of the utmost importance. The utmost. U-P-M-O-S-T. I'm seeing rocks. Star Miner. Ooh, you look cool. Now, what is it about the color pink? There's a game I played somewhere where pink was like... Like you saw a monster or something that was pink, and it was like super good for something. I can't think of what it was. Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> I guess never mind. Mm, yeah, no, nothing special experience-wise there. It's not bad for just one monster, though. I'm just gonna keep going up. I'm not really gonna explore the sides too much here. Maybe I should. Can't imagine there would really be anything there, though. We don't exactly have the luxury of cups of life noodles around here. Ooh. Just keep breathing, man. That's all you gotta do. Mm. I might just... How bad do I really need the levels? Yeah, like, yeah that's what I keep thinking. Especially if one of us is not even getting any levels. Like, this might just be all we get here, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta settle for less. Ooh, 478. Hey, you're slacking there, Eve. What's going on? <laughs> Probably like a defense thing. I have noticed that with these guys. They kind of have the occasional defense that's higher than usual. Oh, no, nope, nothing that way. Other way. Oh, God, there's nothing over here either. Oh, crap. I just went the wrong way. Ooh, boy. Okay. Just gotta look around. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Man, what is with these, all these armors with, like, female names? It's so funny. I almost want to fight it. Like, I don't know. The thing is, when you beat that thing, it's probably going to explode. Besides, if I just avoid everything, what am I really doing? I'm not experiencing stuff, man. You know, I haven't really tried these at all. Let me just put a power shield on myself. Hell yeah, dude. Mm-hmm, okay, good. Well, thank you, thank you for... Well, no, it doesn't matter, actually. I was gonna say thank you for beating the knight first. And not the robot, because the robot would explode. But then it's like, well, there's no rolling HP meter, so it actually wouldn't have mattered. But, yeah, okay. It's fine. Take that smash. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, that's gonna be bad. Or maybe not. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I was like, who are you hitting? There's only two of us. I forgot. Eve is not a teddy bear. She takes damage, too. Okay, so what do we have here? Actually, you know, now that I think about it, I wonder if I shouldn't take this, given the current situation, and just give it to him just in case, you know? Because, like, it's not doing her any good if she's already dead, so... And I want to try to do as many smart things as I can in this video so I have to come across like I know what I'm doing. Which I really don't, but when did I ever, though? You know. So, yeah. Oh, this might be good. This looks promising. This looks like Spectacle Rock in Zelda 1, actually. No, this looks very much like... Ooh, boy. Giga Borga! Giga Borg! Hmm. Well, I almost think maybe you weren't even meant to worry about these guys. You were just meant to guard and let Eve take care of them. I mean, that's the message I'm getting from the game, although I don't know if that necessarily means that's what you should do, but... Yeah. So, like, does guarding minimize magic damage, too? Because it seems like it does, actually. It'd be pretty cool if it did. Alright, 818, take him down! <laughs> Tore him up! 583 to 60. Yeah, so that's not even 100 experience for these end game monsters. This is pretty much the end game, or so it seems to be, because I know the robot is like right near the end. I didn't realize I was actually that close to the end, but I guess I should have known, because like, mount a toy, man. What the hell? Man, get those smashes. <laughs> oh, jeez, what is he doing? Oh, he's healing, even though he doesn't need to. 
I almost get the feeling, though, that, like, at some point, you might have to go through this area without the robot. Because I don't know if we're going to have to go back down it. Like, I mean, maybe. Because if we did, because why would you just teleport? You know, you could do that instead. And just go back to that house from the other side. Or better yet, go wherever it is you go after this. Bum, bum, bum. Maximum PP by seven. Not bad. Is anybody okay? And like, Is anybody okay? Yeah, I just said that. So a cave and a rope, though. Huh. Mm-hmm. All right, going inside here. Oh, yeah, I, th I thought I was going to go into a cave, but... Well, the uh, the present is blinking, and so is Lloyd. Let's see, let's open the present. There was a sea pendant. Okay. Well, I should put that on somebody here. Let me check my state again. We got defense 139. Well, let me at least examine it before I put it on. When you use it, it will defend against all PSI attacks. Oh, so it's not like an equipment thing then. But just in case... Oh, it is! Okay, well, thank God. Because I was going to say, that sounded like it was going to be an item that you would have to use every time in battle, and I'd be like, man, I don't want to waste turns doing that. But okay, that sounds great. What if I just auto here? Because, like, you know. That's fewer button presses, you know, this saves time and all that. I already did the saves time thing. Not going to do that two times in one video. PK Beam Alpha. Kind of surprised they're not going for the big, big, big attacks at this point. Like PK Beam Omega, if there is such a thing. Where would that be? Just instant death on everything? Well, there's another level. I certainly do. <laughs> okay, uh, back down we go, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, you're just gonna come in by yourself this time, are you? And you're gonna die. Man, I wish I could take this robot over to that other place. I wonder if you could actually do that. Oh, jeez, I got another PSI power, huh? Alright, um... I don't even know what the what room if there's super healing. Let me do it. Wait, wait, let me see. Could this possibly... <gasps> oh! 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 How much did that... Oh my god, that used a lot of PP. I had 55 before. Now I have 19. But I also have these, so... Yeah. I put some of them into storage. Maybe I shouldn't have, actually. Alright, well, let's try the rope here, I guess. Okay, 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 another one of these. You know? I think I know how this is gonna go. This might be it right here. That's only 32. Oh, jeez. Ooh, I do not like this. Oh, I could use a little heal myself. I could use a little heal myself, but we are way too busy getting our butts kicked. I mean, if that's only doing 29 to him, then we ain't gonna do nothing. Hmm. I mean, do I just have to outlast this? He's not attacking us, he's only attacking Eve, which makes me worry. There has to be a limit. Like, it really does. Like, we're not even a part of this fight. <laughs> we're just, like, standing by watching with our arms crossed above our chests. Just in case, you know. Shrapnel, I mean, you never know. Can't believe I'm even leaving, leaving this to be part of this video. I feel like I should have cliffhanged this or something, but I didn't know this was coming, so... Or, I mean, I kind of knew it was, but I didn't know where it was going to be. So, hmm. Maybe I should help out, I don't know. Should be such a dick, man. Maybe use some thunder on that shit or something. I mean, if he's not going to attack us anyway, like, maybe I should, yeah. Oh, let's see. PK Freeze. Yeah, put you down to critical, buddy. And you, actually... Hang on a second. Do I have, um... Yeah, I do have thunder. I'm gonna try that. And you use the flamethrower. Uh, swiftly, that's not the best. Oh, oh. Go for it. Oh my god, one. <laughs> Let's see what the flamethrower does. One. Holy crap. We can still help, though. But at that point, you might as well just fight, because you're it's one damage either way. Oh god, you're only doing 11 damage now. 
Wait, did I just... Did somebody just do three to him? Huh. Maybe it was a smash or something and I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe I just put this on auto fight or something. <laughs> Man, this is getting to be a long ass fight. I wonder how much HP this thing has. Oh god! No! Oh god, no! <laughs> I'm supposed to be crying right now. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, you okay? Who are we talking to? Oh man. Mm hmm. Examining the wreckage cause. Oh. Oh, that was beautiful. Man, what a way to get the last piece. Well, that wasn't the last piece, actually. That was number seven. But number seven's always like the big one, you know? When you get to level seven in Zelda 1, you know, it's like you know you're in the big leagues now. Or when you get to stage seven in Contra, it's always seven that feels like the really big one. The seventh gym in a Pokemon game. You know, it's like you know you're there. You've arrived. You're an expert now. So I should stop talking and actually heal myself up here because I haven't been doing that. Oh, but you know what that means, though. However much more of this we have to deal with, we have to deal it on our own now. Unless you just want to force de-slip it. Or... Do the other thing. <coughs> Which is that. We also got flamethrowers, so you know. Do that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should have figured it probably wasn't gonna work. Well, let me see if this works then. I'll tell you what, after this fight's over, I think we're gonna stop the video because holy crap. We we gotta stick into it. We gotta stick stick it out. That's all we can do. Okay, well we can still critical them, so that's good. That is good. So next time on Mother Three, I, Mother One, that is, I will be healed up, and we'll see what we can do about finishing up this area, whatever this is.